Thank you. Um, so we are talking about small things today, which is nice. Um, so you might be familiar with the really fabulous food that the Department of Food Bioprocessing and Nutrition Sciences at NC State University are producing. Top one is the Howling Cow's ice cream. I don't know if you have tried. No? So you should do it. It's really good. And also we sometimes... It's delicious. Awesome. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So as once upon, often in a while, we have a chance to try different uh, a new formulation like potato chips, fried pickles, and all of those yummy things. But in our lab that I work in, it things are a little bit different. Um, as a matter of fact, we work with human poop. Um, yeah. So it's a food virology lab. We looked and we study viruses in food and environment. We don't formulate new food products, but we work hard to make sure that we provide a safe food to consumers like you. So the reason we study poop is that we are looking for some uh, viruses that cause disease in human, in human intestinal tract. As a result, this virus will multiply and will be in million and billion numbers. So, and it goes to human poop. So when you touch the poop, when you, uh, if it goes to food and you ingest it, you may get sick. So um, this virus is called norovirus. So neuro doesn't have anything to do with neuron, which is a neurological system. It's the name of the Norwalk city that the, the disease the first was identified. So norovirus is also uh, known as the stomach bug or winter vomiting bug, and it has, it has all uh, sort of names. So why norovirus is important? Norovirus is very infectious. It means that just a few numbers between 18 to 100 viruses can make somebody sick. So just give you an idea, norovirus is very small with the, all the noroviruses that fit on the top of the head, head of a pin can, could make 1,000 people sick. So it's a huge burden for food industry and public health. In the US, 20 million people get sick annually and making this virus number one leading cause of foodborne illness in the US. So that makes it important for us to study. So if you get one of those viruses in your gut, you will suffer a lot for a few days. Then hopefully you'll be fine. So you get diarrhea, vomit, nausea, headache, stomach pain, fever, and from literally top to bottom, you will feel bad. So let's take a look how norovirus will end up to your food, to your hand, to the water, and eventually into your gut. One of the sources is contaminated water. Um, if you take a look at this picture on your left side, you will see a large tank, like probably what you have, with ocean water. It's a turbid. There's a lot of particulates. On the right-hand side, you will see the same water, but they put some oysters and let them to live for a couple of hours. As you see, the water turns clear. Why? Because oysters, by nature, are filter feeders. They pump a lot of water, and they filter it to grab all of those small things in the water and they consume it as food. So if those particles contain viruses, where is it coming from when somebody poops in the water or the water gets um, contaminated with the sewage? So the virus can pick up these viruses, they hold in their body, they don't get sick. And if you eat raw oyster, you will end up getting the viruses in, in, into your, uh, inside your body. So other route, is when you use contaminated water for irrigation to grow up the crops or to wash the crops. Again, the viruses have the ability to attach to food and when you don't wash your food, again, it can go in. So viruses, like all the animals and plants, uh, are evolved to survive and they are doing a pretty good job. But we need to do a better job in order to uh, combat against them. So other source, what we call in food science is cross-contamination. It means that when somebody is sick, they may um, 
vomit, they may have diarrhea, they don't wash their hands, they process food. That sometimes happens in food processing plants. They touch the food, they put the leaf in your sandwich, you eat the sandwich, you get sick. Or there are some cases that the water, the drinking water by itself was contaminated with the virus. So, and they put this water in the drinking bottles and so people got sick from that. <coughs> Another source is you. So we cannot always blame industry or nature for all of these diseases. You may have a very clean food without any viruses, but you have a dirty hand. You come back from game, play it outside, you don't wash your hand. If you put your finger in, inside your mouth or prepare food for yourself or for your, your loved ones, you will transmit the virus. That's what we call it. So based upon all of this information, our lab um, is working on norovirus. It's a, it, NC State is leading a project it's called the NoroCore, which is a collaborative research. It's uh, across the uni, um, US and so also other countries to study noroviruses. So in our lab, we do a lot of stuff to study different aspects of the um, food contamination with norovirus. First is the detection. This is the electron microscopy picture of the viruses that I took a couple of um, days ago. So we try to detect them and find them in food and environments. A former PhD student designed a machine in order to simulate vomits. Yes, so uh, they studied that if somebody vomits, how much it will be aerosolized. And they, find that they found that norovirus can be go into the air because of the vomiting. Another former um, PhD student just spent four, a, more, a little bit more than four years of his PhD study to just to study what is the mechanism behind norovirus that bind to strawberries. And they found that, yes, there is a strong linking, linkage between the norovirus and the strawberries. This is our upcoming project. We are uh, looking for different types of sanitizer to disinfect um, human skin and surface sanitation, which is the core of my research. So, nobody wants norovirus. Um, so the first step in order to avoid norovirus is to protect yourself. And number one protection is personal hygiene. And number one item in personal hygiene is proper hand washing. Second is that avoid uncooked food, like raw oysters. I know it's one of my favorite food, but there is risk on that. So if you want to make sure that you don't get any virus, make sure you cook your food thoroughly and wash all the foods that are, have a high risk of contamination, like the spinach and the strawberry and many other type of food. So again, keep things clean. We are working hard. I'm getting paid to find and study different disinfectants to make sure that we can, we can clean a surface area that you may touch, make sure that it that kills the virus and eradicate it. So now let's see, once you got the bug in your gut, what should we do now? Do you think the antibiotics will work? No, because antibiotics doesn't have anything to do with viruses. It, it works against bacteria. So no vaccines is available. But there are, there are folks are working on that as it's under developing. So we will hopefully hear for some uh, developed vaccine very soon. So when you get sick, you may not have a dirty hand, or you may not have a clean hand, sorry, and also a clean, clean clothes. So you don't want to cook for others. It's better to stay at room, your room and let others babysit you. So keep yourself hydrated. You may lose a lot of water when you have an infection because you have diarrhea, you have vomiting. So you lost a lot of uh, minerals in your body. So drinking is a key. Clean up again. If those uh, dirty things happen, you know, you need to clean up, make sure you don't make others sick and you can uh, control the hygiene of yourself. So hopefully in a few days you'll feel better. If not, you need to follow up with further medical cares. So that's basically it. And this, this is a NORCOR again. 
Um, there's a lot of information for you guys if you want to take a look and also uh, get some updates about the research is going on. There's a lot of videos, there's a lot of information about norovirus, how to deal with it. So I would strongly recommend to go and check it out. Thank you for your time. <laughs>